to play the silence. Curiously enough, the loudest character, wailing and screaming at everybody. But nobody gives her any problems. So that's good, except for Mr. Grumlinov, of course. Do we want a rare colorless card start? Those are some of my favorite starts in the Spire. The quiet character, that's right. Slime Boss also do give her problems, thankfully not here. Let's do it. Ooh, we can do a sadistic nature silent run? That sounds pretty fun. I don't particularly value either Thinking Ahead or Chrysalis. Thinking Ahead is a very mundane card. It's actually not that bad. Gives you some manipulation, but sadistic nature is fun. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they will take damage. Fortunately, there is a mandatory early elite here. Let's go to this one. Get three card rewards, two events along the way. Could maybe go to the store and buy something, but realistically, no. Silent has tons of debuffs in her card pool. Weak is a debuff. Poison is a debuff. Vulnerable is a debuff. Piercing Whale is a debuff. Silent even has cards that are two debuffs in one. Hello? There we go. Although these aren't there. Slice is nice, just a basic damage addition for free. Or distraction for a random skill. Very unreliable distraction is. I'll take a slice here. The distraction could indeed be a corpse explosion or crippling cloud or bouncing flask. Problem is, it's not particularly likely to be. It could just as easily be a reflex or a tactician. Play that. This fight is... Spooky. Oh, thankfully 18 kills. Glad I played that strike earlier, taking two to save eight later in the fight. Good for me. That's a debuff. And I really don't like these cards, so yeah, I'll take an early piercing whale with a sadistic nature. Let's go. Let's do it. Call the damage. Like this eight. Choke and Sucker Punch are also both debuff cards, interestingly enough. Choke is kind of curious here. Does a lot more damage than the Sucker Punch does. Hmm. Gives me a kind of good answer to an early elite, too. Is it worth upgrading the Sadistic Nature? I think so. That's probably our first upgrade to make it 7 per status. B-Pot says, are Infernal Blade and White Noise better than Distraction? Yes, my, my personal rating is White Noise, then Infernal Blade is a lot lower, and then Distraction is much lower than either of them. I'm going to take this joke. I think it's actually going to help. And I'm actually quite happy for another combat, quite frankly. Weird Shiv sadistic nature. I mean, we if we get an Invenom, it can tie the whole thing together. Pretty cool. Can't quite kill you, so let me strike this one then. So I think that's correct. Yeah, and then choke kills. And neutralize kills. Get him, sadistic nature. Good work. That's a debuff? I mean, I I suppose. I certainly would take a bouncing flask, so let's get our first poison. I can take either one upgrade to a particular card, or a Warped Tongs upgrade a random card every turn. But I have a pain curse for this elite fight. Seems like a bad deal. Hey there, Sneaky Jake. You've 
walked into a certainly unusual silent run. I have no idea how this one's about to go. Maybe we upgrade neutralize next. The worst silent card? Hard to pick any one worst candidate. Ooh, hello. I don't want to draw you again. Certainly haven't been liking Quick Slash much lately. We draw a Choke Strike Slice next turn. I think we kill with that. We do. Oh, actually, I only needed one. Cool. Well, good fight. Meal Ticket heals us at shops. Tools can draw a discard or Sucker Punch is another status effect. Actually, quite like an early tools here. Draw one, discard one per turn. Let's just look at more cards each turn, essentially. Bonus shop. And I can exactly afford piercing whale card removal? What the heck? Sure. If you're going to just put it in my face like that. That seems pretty cool. I'm going to go this way now. What are we upgrading from here? Tools definitely maybe choke? We need another card to upgrade. Lantern's great on silent. More energy turn one when you're drawing more cards. Very, very good overall. This might be my flex potion. Flex potion, just choke one of these stinky sentries to death. Let's see, we would do 18 plus... Uh, 27 plus 17. That's more than 40. So we could actually just kill the middle one here, right? 27 plus 17. Wait, no. These are 11 each. Excuse me. 33 plus 17. 50 damage. And that's ignoring the, the choke effect. That's just the raw damage we do with the attacks. Unfortunately, we're one shy. I guess I could have killed one of the front or back and then redirected an attack, but I wanted to prevent the 10 this turn. Or I could have killed one in front or back and then blocked for five. Maybe that was better. Doesn't matter much. We'll just do double piercing whale here. And um, skip the tools. Entirely convinced we made the right choice by skipping tools, but here we are. Malaise, that's one of those multi status effects in one card card, and is ridiculously good against Hexaghost, and is ridiculously good with an upgrade. Very happy to see Malaise here. Less happy to see these two, but you know how it goes. A spike slime first here. We'll have better damage. Yeah, that felt like the right play. Potentially even correct to do three strikes that turn. Skip the defense. I feel like it made a difference. <clears throat> Shame to lose so much health in this fight, but not that bad. All right, there's Blade Dance with Shuriken and with Choke. It's actually not at all bad. That's weird. Let's do it. That is freaky weird. Oh. 
Oh. Max Health's good. Cloak and Dagger less good than Blade Dance was. I could take another Poison Stab or Sucker Punch, but I don't feel like we need to. I think we've got a really good foundation here. Let's just upgrade... Choker Blade Dance. Probably Blade Dance is better. Let's upgrade this Blade Dance. Give you one more Shiv, and uh, let's mess the Hexaghost up. Hmm, that's a pretty sad turn one. We could use the Gambler's Brew here. I don't think we ought to need it, but... Now, let's just, uh... Let's draw Malaise this turn, no? Okay, maybe I will Gambler's Brew. Very well. I will. There we go. Now it's stabbing time. Do I know any French? No, I was not, not trained in the Francophone ways. Strength from Shuriken already? That's pretty ridiculous, actually. This turn hurts, but oh well. Can't draw well every turn. GG. And there it is, Twitch chat in Venom. Whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply poison. That's the ultimate tie together for this deck. All the attacks, including every shiv, will apply poison, which is a debuff, meaning they'll do plus seven damage. That's cool. Is that actually going to be good? Might be a little setup heavy, but when it works, it's going to be amazing. A little bit energy hungry, which is fine, because with Copy Dripper and Meal Ticket, I'm not particularly afraid here. I wouldn't take a busted crown in this situation. Not over, not over meal ticket, coffee dripper. Um, Black star for extra relics. I think we have a difficult time killing elites on three energy here. So we'll take coffee dripper. We're here now, looking to taking things like backflip, acrobatics, bouncing flask, crippling cloud, wraith form, anything like that could help out a bit. Could drink the fruit juice now. I think we might as well wait until we look at at least one store. Uh, to see if we get the toy ornithopter relic. How many elites do I want? Versus how many rest sites? How important are upgrades right now? And Venom's okay. Choke's okay. I guess we could take a whole bunch of good cards and upgrade them. And I'd be very okay with that. DJ Doodoo, -doo. thank you so much for the Prime Sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Would we take Bites or Apparitions? I would take Bites, especially with um, with Shuriken and Coffee Dripper. I would super take Bites. Yes, Bites are good. Apparitions, um, less interested, but they're still okay. I think I want to do something like this. Take these late events, less combats. So though maybe we'll look for more cards if we need to. Here and here we can look for more cards. Uh, that gets me one, two, three, four rest sites this act where we can upgrade four important cards. Um, we get to go to the shop where I can remove a strike and we get a 15 hit point heal. Uh, or we can buy a relic at that store. Uh, okay. Those ain't the draws. You'd think a deck with double piercing whale would be better at this fight, and yet uh, here we are. Actually, this is still fine, for the most part. Intimidating looking turn, right? Big oof with double the double swoopening, and then a one by six, but actually. That's 
not so bad, right? Take six or use a potion. I'll just take the six. Venom, then sadistic, then choke. The choke force is only three per. The so choke would deal an additional 14. That won't kill, though. So we're taking eight either way, huh? Looks like I'll have to use the block potion then. The bummer. Really unfortunate draws, this fight. I think we got an exclamation point juice, right? There you go. So yeah, we deal 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 3. It won't be enough for you, though. Who needs a block potion anyway? The power. Unupgraded deadly poison is not going to be good enough. <clears throat> Corpse explosion, yes. Bouncing flask, yes. Crippling cloud, yes. Deadly poison, no. It's not enough. Ooh, do I play the Envenom here? That seems pretty difficult to get down. Venom is a huge part of our damage, although I don't necessarily need it. It sure would be important. So I'll do it. And then I'm going to weaken you for two turns. Take a little bit more. There's the block pot. Found it. Fortunate that our draws have been so low quality. This act so far. Yes, indeed, uh, YM Pancakes. There is a uh, total uh, total win and losses Ooh. ratio uh, maintained. Actually, I'd prefer the backflip. That hurt. No, no, no. I gotta take a footwork. Don't, don't be ridiculous. Take the footwork plus. Don't be ridiculous. Just do it. I think I can kill it with the sadistic nature here. Good luck to me. Oh, the sadistic nature breaks the the block though. Oh shoot. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Cute. Okay, now that I have a footwork plus, deflect is pretty great. Uh, but we still need to add card draw. Dark Shackle is pretty good. Fumes is quite nice with um, with sadistic nature. Maybe we go card removal and fumes here. Fumes does a debuff to every enemy every turn. Doesn't need an upgrade, although we might be able to give it one. Could even take a third piercing whale. Kaponski, thanks for the 15 months. One and a half metric years. Nunchaku could be nice for energy generation, but I think currently we actually have enough energy and not enough card draw. 
So it's the card draw that I'm more concerned by. Shoot. Well, that was bad. Good luck to us. All right, Book of Stabbing shouldn't be too bad, especially with Malaise on turn one. Although 24 damage turn one is brutal. Very rude, Book of Stabbing. Very rude. You absolute jerk. Dang it. So I take damage turn one and then probably never again, realistically. If I malaise for six here, the book will attack for zero on future turns. That's gonna make it very easy to not take damage. All right, I'll just do it. Take 13 this turn and that should be it. Um, second Elite might be off the menu though, we'll see. Yeah, we would have taken damage here if I hadn't done that. And then next turn will be attacked for another big hit, but I'm drawing all blocks. So it's good. The power. The power. Mob Bank will give us money every floor. There's the card draw. There's also Dodge and Roll Plus, which is very good with a Footwork Plus and a Dexterity Potion. So, both are pretty good. But I think we probably want the Acrobatics more. We're truly desperate to draw more cards each turn. And I can upgrade that Acrobatics right away to draw four. Tempting uh, dodge roll, though. Bronze scales are great to deal damage back to multi-attacking enemies. Um, we're going to hope for a heal from one of these two events. I like upgrading Survivor here. Um, we could invest in our damage, but I'm, I'm not really about that. I also like the deflect upgrade quite a bit. Fumes upgrade is... Let's see, we're fighting Collector... Team's upgrade won't help in this elite fight if we go there, though. I'm going to upgrade Deflect. Heal me. Transform a card. Into a heal. Into an accuracy. Eh. That's not necessarily better than Strike, but at least we do have Shivs. Play Piercing Well to damage them more. All right, good enough turn one in this fight, at least. Get him. Look at that damage. Holy crap. Oh, because we had accuracy, too. Got him. More card draw. Card draw that works with our decks. Backflap it is. Cloak and Egger's tempting too. It's two shivs and dexterity block. That is pretty good. But card draw is even more important, I think. Twice we skipped an upgraded card to take an unupgraded card. I don't know if I'm making the right choice, admittedly. Haven't got a clue. How hard am I malazing the Grim Leader here? So we'll deal 9 plus 7, that's a kill. Malaise for 3? Sure. Piercing Whale. Yeah, get him. 
Oh. The damage. And now for thorns. Good job, Bronze Scales. Bronze Scales did 15 damage that turn. Beautiful fight. And that's why we don't drink the fruit juice, Twitch chat. Toy Ornithopter, whenever you use a potion, heal five. Drink this, heal for 10 hit points. That's why you save it. That right there. Let's see, do we take a reflex or an escape plan? Probably an escape plan with a footwork plus. Boryang, thanks for the prime sub, and Scadaboosh, thanks for the prime sub. That was a prime use of Tori and Thopter. Give my son the juice. Oh, Merchant, hello! Corpse Explosion is a double debuff card. There's a lot else going on here, too. My, my. Thanks for the heal, sir. Cloudmaker, thanks for the prime sub, too. How many skills are in this deck? Let's take a look. So, 27 cards. We have six attacks, one curse, six powers, and 14 skills. So more than half the deck is skills. And once we've played all the powers, 75% of the deck is skills. Wait, Chemex Malaise! Yo! Chemical X Malaise is really strong, debuffing the ever living heck out of a particular foe. And some other good X cost cards on Silent as well. Could go with a fairly generic Remove a Strike. It's boring, but it's good. Or we could do something else, like buy Preserved Insect. I really like this Chemex, though. Let's do it. See you later, Mob Bank. Thanks for the, uh, 84 bucks. And I guess I'll upgrade the fumes here. Good fight for the dex potion, maybe? Maybe. Okay, thank you for not attacking me. While I get my powers down. Really appreciate the generosity, Collector. Probably want to melee his Collector for a bit. With Chemex, so even at zero energy, it's for three. That's great. I could go Accuracy, Piercing Whale, Malaise. Let's get all this stuff out of my hands here. Take two. Piercing well again. Shame about our sadistic nature, but that's fine. Guess I decided not to use the dexterity potion. I think that's probably for the best. Seems like we've got it sorted out here. We can always use the potion if we really need to. I'm not convinced of such a need. Beautiful turn. The damage. GG, Collector. GG. Get shivved on. What a weird deck of cards. Oh man, Adrenaline Alchemize Wraith Form. Tough choice here. I gotta say, with the Toy Ornithopter, very, very tempting to go Alchemize here. So that we can heal five per fight. 
Yin Yang, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Of course, Wraith Form is always good. I've got enough dexterity, though. With Ornithopter, I think it's going to be Alchemize. And a Cage Hammer Bell. Very happy with Empty Cage. Don't really like Fusion Hammer plus Coffee Dripper usually. Means your rest sites are completely wasted. Calling Bell adds a curse, which is a bit spooky. But with Empty Cage, we simply snip the last two strikes in the deck. Be on our merry way into Act 4 with a very well-refined deck of cards. Once it gets all the powers in play, it's very good at blocking. We've got bonus energy on turn one to get stuff down. I like it. I like it. If only we'd nightmared so that we could nightmare alchemize Toyonathopter. Just think of where we'd be. Fairly awkward layout for the act. It's like shops or elites, but not both. And since we have to go for the Burning Elite, we'll start here. Um, this next, because of Chook. Chook is the thing. Get and Venom down, got it. I will play this, though. Dodger Roll Plus is back, or the Bouncing Flask. Gotta say, I think this is Dodger Roll Plus. We've already got such good ways to apply poison. I want a little bit more defensive utility for the late game. Or we're gonna struggle a bit. Venom, Alchemize, Malaise. Even these nerds could be actually pretty tricky. Oh no, we're fine. Might as well use the regen potion shortly though. Make this fight go on long enough, right? Yeah. Let's just be at full health here. since we can drop potions after combats. Skewer Chemex could be a thing? Eh, it's not that good. Ever try Inscription? Yeah, we played through Inscription on stream. I thought Inscription was a really good uh, one-time through experience. Oh, but Skewer also works with the Envenom thing, right? Oh yeah, let's take this. How's it going, Merle? The game is good. We've got um, your usual sadistic nature blade dance Envenom silent deck going on. Am I transforming slight? I'm transforming accuracy, actually. I don't like accuracy very much. Get rid of that. Double joke. Incredible. Just another day in the office. That's right. Caw. My potions. Wait, I need that. Dare. Oops. 
Probably should have done less damage to the sphere here. So I can get my alchemize off. Well, it's the last card, which means Swift Potion into Play the Alchemize. There we go. Net gain. Bouncing Flask Plus. You can come along. That's four status effects and 12 poison. Very good with sadistic nature. Generally speaking, with what we're doing. Dirty, the dirty 30. Bouncy time, go. So six plus six plus seven plus seven plus two poison for zero energy is skewer. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Go calm, my friends. Fairy in a bottle. We're cycling the potions a lot, so I'll leave the fairy be. I will, however, take an upgraded backflip happily. And stride boldly into this super nemesis fight. I'm not too afraid of the super nemesis. But perhaps I should be just a little bit. Backflip malaise should cover us here. Play the fumes? Sure. Wonderful. So first, keep that poison going up. That here, and I'm not blocking too well this turn. All right, that's probably Dex Potion then, or uh, Power Potion then. Excuse me, doesn't add anything, alas, but it does heal me, so I'll take it. My opportunity to do damage, I guess. <laughs> Satisfying. Okay, but really, you gotta stop this, sir. This is not gonna be enough damage. Maybe if I used the dupe pot there, I could have saved some health. Feel all that motivated to do so, though. I should use one before the end of the fight, though. No to these. Not even Phantasmal Killer. Most of our damage is Poison and the Sadistic Nature, which won't get doubled. Alright, this I will use. Push it on. Kind of spooky, they're all doing the exact same thing on turn one like this. They're all blocking, too. It's not too bad. This I should use before the end of the fight. is so.
second bleed dance. Actually not that good in like the hard fight. Let's skip. So keep upgrading. Or do we path in a different direction now? Get towards the shop for a heal, perhaps. I think we just keep taking upgrades and such. Keep going this way. Hoard our money for Act 3. Act 4. Take one more elite fight. Um, make this free. Could go this way. All right, giant hit should be pretty easy. The fight where we get time to set up here. Play all these powers. Okay. Also malaise giant head for a pretty reasonable amount. Piercing well, so don't draw it again. And Trouble Town. Well, not that much trouble, actually. Let's bleed dance before I backflip. Okay, deflect, good. Deflect, dodge a roll. Shoot, shoot, skewer. Alright, pretty good damage. Blocking is mostly where we want it to be. I'd really prefer a second copy of footwork, ideally. Flex Potion to win this turn, even if I didn't need to. Again, I just want to be able to pick up a potion it drops. Like so. There's Crippling Cloud. AoE Weaken and Poison. Two debuffs to every enemy. I'll take that. I'm not going to take Madnesses that aren't upgraded. Face off against this fool. I should have gone choke first. We can just skewer here. Very hard to block in this fight. Actually, very likely to take a lot of damage here. Um, I'm just going to discard this. Drink this. Apotheosis, Violence, Purity. Violence will draw many cards so that the acrobatics works a bit better here. Still a pretty crap turn for us, ultimately. Okay, we'll get some stuff in play. But not enough. Here we go. Oh, is Dead Cells pulling way ahead? In our game boat. That's exciting news, if so. Let's see, one more fight or one more event? I want an event. There's lots of good events to say. Act, and this is one of them. Fight a boss, get a rare relic. Yes, please. We also get a five hit point heal from the potion we'll probably generate. And it should be an easy fight, besides. Good news. You ever malaise the slime boss? For minus six? You've ever done that? It's funny. almost too much damage. 
Almost. Smell you later, slime boss. GG. Lizard Tail, a second chance at life. Very big deal. Dodge roll number two could be okay, although, like I said, I'd rather have footwork number two. Let's skip. Let's skip. More block, more damage. I think we actually want the more block. Definitely worried about our late game block here. Yeah, exactly. Although, can Piercing Whale here, right? Okay, Artifact removed. That's pretty good for turn one. Upgraded backflips. You love to see them. Piercing Whale fumes. Piercing Whale fumes. Still waiting on footwork, though. There it is. Um, I'd like all these cards in my hand, actually. Sorry to say. That's the only thing not getting played for sure here. Malay's Donut? Sure. both their damage for a bit here. As much as I can, anyhow. So I want to kill Donu first, yeah? Yeah. Quite frankly, Sadistic Nature will get them both in pretty similar time frame. Also, whoever fighting next should probably be easier because Malaise will work a lot better against our next boss, be it Time Eater or Awaken one. Deca instead here. That's still fine. I'll full block, no problem. Just you watch. Or almost full block. Oh yeah, problem, no problem. Easy. GG. All right, boss one down. Don't have a whole lot of health for boss two, but I'm not that worried about Time Eater here. Turn one footwork, definitely helping. I don't think we're playing Blade Dance, but I will extend weak with Crippling Cloud. We just want to get the powers in play here. Uh, Malazing for as much as we can seems almost ideal here. Shut Time Eater down for a while and buy us some time. Oof, went for the single attack though, huh? You jerk. Bummer. Ouch. Uh, if that happens again, we'll lose the run. Well, no. How does it have to happen three more times, actually? Never mind. All's well. Should have blocked. Oh no, it's happening again. Heck. Thought I told you to knock this off, Time Eater. Shoot. Um, probably a sense of steel time. Absolute jerk. Okay, We've got a couple multi-attacks and lucked out here. We might be able to do some hot nonsense to Time Eater if we play our cards right. 
Won't get attacked next turn. So I think we just go Poison Stab Skewer. Two cards next turn, that surely won't be enough. So we'll have to do the phase two with no strength on Semeter. Oh god. Oh no. Why? Ugh. I'm so dead next turn. Okay, multi-hit, piercing whale, piercing whale, please, piercing whale. Um, or survivor defend, defend blocks, how much? 28, 29, blah, blah. excuse me, 20, plus 8 plus 3, 31, take 5, 3 cards next turn. Okay, I don't like that, but I'm doing that. Good. Definitely play Bouncing Flask. Definitely weaken with Neutralize. And I think we probably play the Dodger Roll for 9 block next turn. We're hoping we get a multi-hit so that we can Piercing Whale. If it's a big hit, we're almost assuredly losing Lizard Tail. It is a big hit. Eh, there might be a way out still. Looks tricky, though. Oh no, we're okay, we're okay. And this is good that we don't get attacked this turn. It means I can just play a Skewer to do damage, and we hopefully get the kill next turn. Yeah, we do. Good fight, Time Eater. Managed to keep the Lizard Tail and the Dupe Pot both. Uh, and I was really worried for a second here. GG. Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread. To be felt throughout the room is this, the heart of the spire, the source of all these working debuffs. Yeah, 84 damage skewer is not bad at all, right? Almost makes you want to upgrade skewer, actually, considering how many times we can hit with it. We should. Get an almost full heal here. We're offered... Sneko Skull, we're offered Ori, we're offered Entropic Brew. Oh my goodness. A good Instincts is also really nice. Six blocks, zero cost. Skull makes our poison way better against Heart. Like, way better against Heart. And because it's 15 health, I, I like the Entropic Brew a ton as well. Fan of consideration here, 262 gold for four block sometimes. Honestly, we're not frequently going to play three attacks in one turn. I'm likely going to skip out on the Blade Dance because of the Beat of Death issues against Heart, in fact. So I really don't like the fan that much, not compared to more poison, not compared to bonus healing. And I can't afford good instincts or acrobatics, but not both. Um, that's a tough choice. I think I want the good instincts. Or energy's a little low. Could take bullet time, but eh. Keep the good instincts. Alright. Four bucks. 98 health going into the final fights here. Damage and weak. Okay. So I can weaken the Spire Spear for next turn if I wish to. Could Dupe Pot something this turn? I don't think I want to. The Golyo, thanks for 34 months of support. Let me do the following. 
Slice to remove one. Neutralize removes one and weakens. Piercing well brings you to zero. And we block for 12. Take some. But we're facing the right way for this turn. Oof. I could do pot dodge roll here, but it doesn't feel like it's worth it. Not a great turn, of course. Maybe we wanted to double sadistic nature, actually. Shoot. And I've been venom plus sadistic nature. Okay, so there's our dupe pot. I found it. Dupe pot the skewer, I think, is the, the play here. Let me double check that. Um, this is 9 times 12. Yeah, that's super duper going to be enough. Because we have Envenom Sadistic. Yeah, that's so very enough. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I should double check. Can I play another card first? Then it would be five. It'd be ninety. One, two, three, four, and only five actual sadistic nature hits. Plus five times seven. 125. Plus ten poison. No. Okay, so yes, I need to use all the energy. I have. Awesome turn there. Glad we upgraded that. Wasn't that funky? That was cool. And then we make sure we make a new potion. I'm just going to throw that now. Our Calcum, Finisher, Dagger Throw, Terror. All right, not the greatest Spear and Shield fight. That said, I think with the uh, Lizard Tail and the plus 15 health from the Toy Ornithopter, we should be okay in this heart fight. I think we're quite good at the heart. So, onwards into our final battle here. Excellent turn one. We got Tools Footwork turn one. I, I really can't expect much better than that. And we also got Liquid Memories Block Potion as our potions, which are both excellent. So, I'm rating this very good. Very good start to this fight. Oh, and Alchemize is here too, right? Um, so, I would ideally want to make a spot in my hands. Hmm. Let's see what we draw off the backflip to start. Okay. Venom is excellent. Macro draws the Bouncing Flask. Okay, so that's probably what I'm going to Liquid Memories then, is the Bouncing Flask to get us started here with uh, lots of poison turn one. And then I can play Tools, Alchemize, Poison Stab even. Yeah, that's excellent. Take a little bit of beat of death damage, but that's okay. Dexterity potion. Five decks, even better. And more poison. 22 poison turn one. That's, that's a pretty good start. Actually, and more importantly, three of our powers in play. But badly, no sign of weakness or malaise here. This is a really rough turn. The good news is Lizard Tail. I don't think I'm going to bother with Choke. We just go slimed, dodge roll, defend, block pot, stay alive here. There's malaise. Can use this now, or I can piercing whale this turn. Malaise on a future turn to remove the strength. 
That said, if I malaise now, the heart will be weak forever, and that feels kind of important to me. Well, maybe not forever. For four turns. Thanks for being here, Good Instincts. Do I want to escape plan? I think so. Okay, Sadistic Nature is here. Now we're doing lots of bonus damage with every attack. Come on, Piercing Well. Or just block for a lot. That works too. Yeah, that works too. Yeah, so we're not going to be playing Blade Dance here. Do I play the Neutralize? Take two to do this? I think it's worth it. Keeps the weekend going. But to play the Blade Dance, we'd have to take an ordinate amount of damage. I don't think that's wise. Again, this also barely, barely blocks, so... I will play the Skewer at the end, though. It's going to be too much damage to ignore. 27, currently taking 8, take 10. Look at that heart's health going down. Let's say we have a foundation here. It's a terrible next... Actually, with Piercing Will, maybe that's what I want to draw. I'd love to draw a Piercing Will next turn. Either I Piercing Will stop the multi-hit, or I Lizard Tailed stop the big hit. So with this hand, we never die next turn. Let's do that. Don't play this Piercing Whale, even if you want the damage. Don't fall for it. It's a bad idea. Alright, that is the multi-hit, so we just Piercing Whale that. Ah! Easy. Poor choke. Disregarded in late game. It's the way of things. Ow. That beat of death, though. One more. Not today, joke. Fifty-eight, seventy. Um. Which is this? I mean, it's fine if we boost the lizard tail. Can't get it to die, right? Not quite. But I can deflect whale defense. And that's not enough health. Good thing I have a lizard tail. So close. And yet so far. GG, Mr. Hart. GG, what a fight. Sure glad we had that relic at the end. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.